Hi, my name is Marion Calmer and I'm a farmer from Western Illinois. Uh, we've been producing a series of videos on combine settings for better harvesting. And regardless of the color of your combine, we think that these suggestions uh, will apply. Um, first off, I want to say thanks to all of you that have called or emailed us um, about some of the previous videos. One of them that seems to be getting an enormous amount of attention is how I like to set the combine when I'm harvesting corn. In my opinion, um, we really don't need to use the bottom sieve at all and we just pull it wide open and then we're going to clean the green tank by just adjusting the top sieve. Some of the comments that have come in is it makes it so simple to set the machine when you just have to adjust the top sieve. But from those comments and those calls, we're starting to get more and more questions about now, how do I set the top sieve to keep the cobs out of the grain tank, especially the front portion, the middle portion, and the back portion of the top sieve. Most of us have combines that have those three options on the top sieve. In my humble opinion, I don't believe that the size of the cob uh, this one here happens to be about a half inch in diameter and it's about one inch long. I don't believe that the size of the cob changes from the front to the middle to the back. Therefore, my feeling from a common sense point of view is that the front, the middle, and the back should all have the same air gap. One of the things we learned this past week in testing is that cobs don't blow out of the combine because we turn the shakers off and they only shake out of the back end of the machine. So the air gap is going to determine whether we have a clean tank or a dirty tank. A simple gauge that you can use for adjusting the top sieve is simply a bolt out of the bolt bin and this is what I've been using recently. This one's 5 sixteenths this one is three-eighths. In my opinion, this one's a little big. And it's, you can feel as I put it in here, it's just a little too tight. This bolt slides right across. It's real easy to reach in from the back of the combine and use this as a gauge in order to determine the air gap in here. So, I'm going to set the front, the middle, and the back with the same air gap when I'm picking corn. Large cobs are not a problem. It's these small broken ones or what ends up into the combine. So with that, uh, I want to say thanks for watching this video. And again, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to call me on my cell phone. And I actually do answer it during harvest. Send me a text message, email us, go to our website at calmercornheads.com and my cell phone number is 309-368-1182. With that, thanks again for watching the video and I hope that you have a safe, profitable, and a fun harvest season.